What is up amigos? Today we are looking at streamlines, streak lines, and path lines. We're gonna be talking about what they are, how they are the same, and how they are different. And they can really be broken down into two categories, steady and unsteady, and this changes everything. The time component changes pretty much everything. And the reason why I wanted to do this topic is because I think it's not really covered very well. And the reason why is because they are quite tricky to understand if they're not explained in the right way. And considering how fundamental they are, they need to be hammered home so we can understand what they are. So to begin with, we're going to be looking at the definitions of each one. So path lines. A path line is the path a single particle takes throughout time. A streak line is a line that connects all particles that pass through a certain point. And a streamline is the line at which the velocity is tangential to throughout the entire thing. And to begin with, they may all seem to be the same thing. And in the steady case, they actually are. So if we were to have some sort of flow, let's say it's two dimensional. So we have the X and the Y, and we have now a path line. So we have one particle here, particle A. And throughout its motion, it's going to follow this path. It's gonna travel along here. Well, that is the path line. However, the streak line. So the streak line is a line connecting particles that pass through a particular point. So let's say we wanna know at this point, all the particles that pass through this point here. And we'll find that all these particles <laughs> were actually following this line because it's steady. The flow is always gonna be following this line. It doesn't change with time. So particle B, particle C, D, E, F, and G. That should probably be uppercase. I don't know why I made it lowercase. Let's keep it consistent. They all passed through this point at one point in time and they followed this line, this path line. This is a streak, this is sorry, a, a streak line. All these particles followed there. A streamline. Well, this path line as well, the velocity at each one of these, these points is tangential to this line as well, which means that, oops, there we go. This path line is also the streamline and it's also the streak line. So in the steady case, knowing the definitions doesn't really make much of a difference. We can just really look at the path line and see, okay, the path that the any particle takes, that is the path line, the streamline, and the streak line in this steady case. The unsteady case, this is where everything changes, and this is where these definitions are very important. So let's talk about one instant in time. So let's say t equals zero. We have a Cartesian coordinate here, a plot here. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because we need a few more graphs here. And we have the X and Y components. So we have point, let's say we have point A here, again. And if we were to draw the streamline, so the line at which the velocity is tangent to throughout the entire thing, we might get something looking like this. So that means that at this point in time, this particle A is going to be forced in this direction. So you say, okay, great. So we're gonna fast forward, time equals 0 0.1 now. It could be seconds or whatever uh, units you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just that time has incremented one step. That's the important part. So it's incremented by 0 0.1, let's say. So we know now that if time has incremented by 0 0.1 and it's traveling in this direction to begin with, so the particle which started here is now gonna end up here. And that's fine because it was following this original streak, this original streamline, sorry. This is a streamline. This is the line at which the velocity is tangential to throughout the entire thing. The only problem is, so this was A, now this is A prime, it's at 0 0.1. The only problem is here, this streamline is no longer the same because the time has changed. The, the flow is unsteady, so the velocity field is unsteady too, it's gonna change. So before it was like this, this dotted line, now it's actually going to be different. It might be like this. So the tangential velocity is like this. So now we have to go to time equals 0 0.2, t equals 0 0.2. And we can say that a original was here, a dash, a prime here, a two, a double dash is now up here. And we can connect these and we can go, okay, well, if we were to use the old streamline, 
we know that if it were to be at that point, the velocity is more at this sort of direction. But unfortunately, <laughs> the streamline has now changed a little bit and it's going like this now because it's unsteady. It's always changing. So now we know that, okay, this particle is actually traveling down at this direction now. And we can go to time 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, continually trace through. And this is how the streamlines will change with time. The velocity is always tangential to this line at all points. So that's the streamline. How do the path lines and streak lines factor into this? Well, this is where this a, a dash, a double dash factor into it. So you can see I connected these to these three dots with these, this line here. This is actually the path line because this is the path that this original uh, point passed through. It, it, this little fluid element, this little parcel of fluid, whatever you want to call it, that's how it traveled with time. If you were to compare it to the original streamline, it should have gone down a little bit here, but because it's unsteady, the streamline changed with time and it forced this particle in a different direction. So the path line is now different to the streamline. We can see here, blowing it up, it should have gone down, it went straight up instead, or diagonally up. That's the path line, it's the path that is following with time. The streak line. So, this is even a little bit more different now. So we have the streamline, let's recover, let's recap the definition. It's a line connecting particles that pass through a particular point. So let's say we have point A, which is the point that we're interested in all the particles moving through. So we know this first point A, the first particle moved up to here. But the second particle, let's call it B, at, it started here at time equals 0 0.1, but at time equals 0 0.2, the streamline, let's say it was like this. So that means that it is going to, sorry, it's going to be like this, so up like this way. So that means that this particle at time 0 0.2 actually moved up here. So this is B dash now. And then if we go to time equals 0 0.3, we have the X, we have the Y, and we have mapped out a, a dash, a double dash, a double dash. We have B dash here. And if we were to look at the streamline of this point here, it might have gone like this. So know that B dash now moved to here at this point in time. And we know that the other particle that started here, which is C, if the streamline looked like this, let's say, C moved down here. This is C dash now. So these are all these points that moved through point A at through this time sequence. If we are to an A double dash might be, uh, we said this is the streamline here. So the A, double, A triple dash, sorry, is down here. So now the line connecting all three is like this. It's very weird, it's, it's crazy. That's what happens in unsteady flows. That's the streak line. So there are differences between path lines, stream, streak lines, and streamlines. Let me go through it again, because again, it is a very nuanced idea. And in the steady case, it doesn't matter. They're all the same, but in the unsteady case, it can get quite confusing. So let's go through it again, just to flesh it out a bit more. So definitions. A path line is the path that a single particle takes throughout time. A streak line is a line connecting all the particles that pass through a particular point and then the subsequent motion. A streamline is the line at which the velocity is tangential to. So in a steady case, we have this line here, which is the line that this particle moved through. Then we have all these other particles along it. And the reason is because it's steady. So the streamline doesn't change with time. It's always going to be following this direction here, which means that the point at A is always going to move up a little bit point at B is always going to move to the right, point at C, down to the right, and so on and so forth. The particle following this path will always follow this path because the velocity vector is always pushing it in this direction. So the path line is this because this is the path that the, this point or any path point will take. The streamline is this because this is the velocity vector of the field. And the streak line is this because if you map all the particles that pass through point A, they will follow the same path. So you can just line up them all. When we get to the unsteady case, this is where things change. So at time equals zero, we might have a streamline here, which is the velocity 
uh, vector, like the point at which all the velocity vectors are tangent to two. And we know that point A, it's got the velocity vector moving up to the right. So if we accelerate the time to zero point one, take the next time step, we know that point A should have moved that distance because it's the uh, velocity times the time, that's the distance that it goes up, obviously. Now at time 0 0.1, the problem is that the streamline is now different. It was this to begin with, the dashed line. The solid line is now what it is, which means that the path that A was on is now different because the streamline is different. So if we accelerate this to time 0 0.2, we know that, again, it should have moved up to the right, so it goes up to the right. The problem now is the streamline is at a very weird angle, and this does happen, just it's unsteady, so it can happen. So we know now this particle is moving down to the right. At time three, it should now be down here, which it is. Now, if we were to look at the path line of point A with time 0 0.3, it was here, it moved up here, then up here, then down. This is the path that point A is taking. It, you can see that it's not the same as any other streamlines throughout time. That's because the streamlines are different. Finally, the streak line is the line connecting all the dots that went through one point. So if we were to look at point A, this is the point that we want to be looking at the interested, be interested in. We want to look at all the points going through there and see, okay, where are they moving with time? We look at point A and we know that it moved all the way over here by time 0 0.3. Point B, which is the next point to go through this location, moved up all the way up here. And finally, point C moved down. So if we connect all three, we get this funny, like two thirds of a triangle kind of look, this point, and that's the streak line. So that is how the path lines, streak lines and streamlines are different and similar, if you have the steady case. I hope that this clears up a lot of things because I think that um, it's important to understand these very nuanced definitions. And if you want to know anything more about these, let me know in the comments below. Maybe there are some little questions you have, which I didn't cover here. Or if you want to just say that you do understand, that would be nice to hear as well. And make sure to like and subscribe this. And if you want to look up more about this kind of thing and or any other theory, check out this textbook called Fundamentals of Aerodynamics by John D. Anderson. It's a, probably the best textbook that I've come across for uh, fundamental aerodynamics. You'll find that in the link description. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, amigos.